Hello friends and welcome to our next React Hooks video. Today we are going to talk about Use Effect. Use Effect is a hook that lets you synchronize a component with an external system. Basically, this hook runs when the component mounts and we can fetch data from an API or set up our server or have some code that we want to run and be synchronized with the state of React. So let's see how we can use it in our application. I've created my app using Beat and I have only one component that is our app and I have the syntax for this hook in this component as a comment. So let's console.log use effect. So we need to import it from React and down here we cannot just invoke it without any argument. This would give us an error because this setup which is a function is required. We need to pass the setup function and we can pass an empty function so that we don't get an error. Also we have a second argument which is an array of dependencies and it is optional. So for now we don't want to touch this one. So let's save this one we get undefined. So we know the return type of use effect is undefined. Therefore, we don't need to save it anywhere into any argument. We can just run it when the component mounts or renders. So instead of console.log, let's get rid of this one and have a log inside of this function. And I just want to pass use effect ran. So we want to see in what situations this function is going to run or this hook is going to run. So let's save it, give it a refresh. We get use effect ran two times. This is actually running one time. We get two logs because of this strict mode in React. So if we get rid of this one, which is in our main file, and give it a save and refresh, we get only one. So we're not going to use the strict mode in this video. All right, so we already know this runs initially when the component mounts to the DOM or renders, but it also runs whenever the state changes. And to show you what that means, let's create a state. I'm going to call it count and set count and set it to use a state, which is going to be zero at first. And right under that H1, I'm going to create a button that says count is count. So if I save this one, we get count is zero. Now let's attach a click event to this button and we want to invoke this set count inside an anonymous function and just add one to the count. So count plus one. So this is our code. Let's save it, give it a refresh. We have use effect ran once because that's the initial render and I'm going to click on this button. You can see it ran again, 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 and again. So every time the state changes, this runs. And sometimes we want that. Sometimes that's exactly what we want, but sometimes we don't. In order to avoid this behavior and have this hook run only once on the page reload and not anymore, we can pass that dependency array. So the dependencies is an array that can take props or a state. But if we just pass an empty array and save our document and give it a refresh, we have our initial render, but if we click on this button, it's not going to run anymore because there is no dependency. Basically, this dependency array says, based on what state do you want this effect to run? So let me show you what that means with creating another state. So I'm going to have count two, which is going to be set count two and another button. So I'm just going to copy this one and change all these counts to count two. And here is count two. And also here is count two. Also on the text, I want to say count two is count two. So we have two buttons. And whenever we click on these, the use effect hook is not running because we still have this empty array. If we get rid of it and click on these buttons, both of them would affect this hook and whatever is inside this block of code is going to run. Now, let's say I want to run this effect hook only when this count changes. So when this state changes, not this one. So I can pass that state as a dependency to this array and say, if this a state change, then run this code. So let's give it a save, refresh the page. We have our first initial render. So the code ran once. Now, if I click on this button, which is our count two, nothing's gonna happen. We are changing the state, but this is not running. However, if I click on this one, you can see this is running because we specified that this is the state we want to change and this is the code we want to run when that particular state changes. And that's really all about use effect. But before we wrap this video, there are a few things we need to consider here. So the first thing is this use effect returns undefined. So there's no point saving it into any variable. Secondly, we cannot have this as an asynchronous function. So if I add the async keyword here, you can see this is giving me an error already 
We cannot make this async. If you want to have an async function inside your use effect, you can just create a function here. Let's say fetch data and then set this function to an async function. And then later on in the same use effect, you can just invoke that async function and you have your asynchronous logic inside this block of code. So remember, you cannot make the initial setup function async. And the last point we should note is to be careful changing the state inside this use effect. Let's say I want to change the count, which is our state in here. So I want to say count plus one. I'm not going to save or run this because this is going to break our application. Remember, this effect is going to run every time the state changes. Now we are changing the state inside of this hook. That means when the component loads, this is going to run and the state changes, therefore it's going to run again. Then the state changes again and again and again. So we are inside an infinite loop. So if I save my document right now, it's going to crash our application. And because this is the last thing I wanted to show you, I'm going to save it and show you what it does. So I'm going to save the document and you can see what's happening here. And you can see the number is incrementing and down here, everything is breaking. So I'm just going to close the server here and break everything. And that's use effect, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and this has been helpful. Thanks for watching. See you at the next one. Bye-bye.